Hey, I'm Tony Hawk, and welcome to Skate Support. Uh, okay, here we go. Is there a skateboarding trick called the eggplant? Yes, there is a skateboarding trick called the eggplant. I'll show you how to do one right now. Over there, I'm gonna do a regular hand plant, and then here I'll do an eggplant. Hopefully, you can spot the difference. What we call hand plant or invert is done by using your front hand to grab the board on your toe side, and then using your trailing hand to actually stand on the coping, and that's how you balance. That's the hand plant. Here's an eggplant. An eggplant is reversing those hands, so using your back hand to grab the board, your front hand to actually balance your body, and doing the same direction of turning. Bro, I need some advice on how to do a 540 on a skateboard. My first advice to you is learn how to skate quarter pipes, preferably bigger ones, because the bigger the quarter pipe, the more air time you can actually get and have to spin a full 540 rotation. I'll show you a McTwist, actually, a version of a 540 right now. This is a 540 on vert. I'm gonna grab my board on my toe side, which we call mute, around my leg. We call it that tuck knee. And if you do a 540, grabbing this way, assuming you go upside down a little bit, that's a twist. It's one of the scariest things to learn because when you start to do it, you're blind to the landing for a half a rotation. And so you kind of gotta use the force. I don't know how else to explain it. So I would say just get used to that spin until you actually start to land it. Hey Tony Hawk, can you please make another pro skater video game? <laughs> My contract is up with Activision. They own the license to that actual name, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. If we could come to some new agreement, absolutely. Yes, I'm in. Hi, Activision, free agent right here. Let's do some more fun stuff. <laughs> How do you do a board slide on a bench, rail, or pipe on a skateboard? I can show you the difference between a board slide on a rail and a board slide on a ramp right now approach some sort of ledge, and then you slide using only the board. The wheels are off the ground. This is what a board slide looks like on vert. Let's see, which skateboarding trick was the hardest to learn? McTwist, 540s. It took me nearly 10 years to figure out how to do a 900. One of the tricks that I've only done a couple times in my life is a kickflip McTwist, which is actually like my board is a kickflip and I catch it in the middle of McTwist and there are so many things happening all at once that it's almost like the planets have to align for it to work out perfectly. Years of struggle with that trick only to land two on video. Does anyone know how to set up a skateboard? I have all the stuff, just none of the tools or knowledge. I do know how to set up a skateboard. What you need is skateboard, trucks, wheels, bearings, and hardware. Okay, so first thing you do, get a skateboard, uh, strip of grip tape. You wanna take the backing off, get the sticky part down, push the grip tape on from the center out so that you don't get too many air bubbles. If you do get air bubbles, Take a box cutter or X-Acto and just slice them and put them down and no one will ever know that you didn't know what you were doing. Place the grip tape, get it flat, cut it around the edges. Don't cut too hard in, another sign that you don't know what you're doing. Then you wanna poke holes through the grip tape through where all the trucks go. Put the hardware through on top of the grip tape. Take your trucks so that the kingpins are facing in. Next, you wanna attach the wheels, and I'm gonna give you my little handy tip for putting wheels on. You take two bearings. You've got the outer part of the bearing and the inner part of the bearing. Outer part is sealed. Put the inner part facing up, two bearings like this. Take your wheel, face down, put it on one bearing, turn it over, put it on the other bearing, put your spacer on, and that's it, and your wheel's already good to go. I give away my skateboards so much for auctions, for charities, and for people. I had to learn how to break in new skateboards constantly, and now that's more what I'm used to. Every other pro swears by their trucks and how they turn and will hold on to them at any cost. I give them away. This is a technical question. It says three flip. Is that the same as a tray flip? And how can you do a varial flip but not a kick flip? Isn't varial a shove it kick flip? That is a loaded question. Okay, a three flip is a nickname for a 360 flip, also known as a tray flip. So yes, all of those are the same nomenclature. A kick flip is when you actually just flip your board all around, right? A 360 flip is when the board does a full 360 rotation and a kick flip. A varial flip is half that. So a varial flip is a 180 kick flip and you end up with the board backwards. How do you even kick flip a normal board? How do you even stand on a skateboard without eating shit? Well, those are two very different questions. I'll take the second one first. How do you stand on a skateboard without eating shit? Center your weight and anticipate the motion. That's gonna be the best way to, to be on a skateboard without actually falling off of it. If you just stand on a skateboard stationary, it tends to be a little too wobbly and there's not much leverage that you get from that. Tighten the trucks. 
because you don't want to be super wobbly. Use your back foot to push off and stand with your weight centered and make sure you're anticipating the motion. Now, let's see, how do you even kickflip a normal board? <laughs> the idea of a kickflip is using your front foot to get the board flipping. So while you're sliding your front foot to level out your board, you actually slide it off of the edge of the board and that gets it flipping. And the idea is you want it to be flipping while you're still going up so you catch with your feet and then you put it down. It should be that easy, but it's not. <laughs> I don't know why, but recently I'm tempted to get a skateboard, but I think I'd look ridiculous. Any advice on a starter board or rig? Midlife crisis. Okay, I'm gonna guess that you're somewhere between 30 and 50. A starter board, it has sort of a distinct nose, you know, sort of a shovel nose and a wider tail. Some bigger wheels, maybe something a little softer so you can cruise down the street as well as riding in the parks. Just start slow, you know? I don't think it's ever too late to start. And it's a great way of exercise, so uh, good luck. Tony Hawk, how do you do an Oli? An Ollie is the basis of most skate tricks. It's the way you lift the board up in the air using your feet. I can show you how to ollie on flat and I can show you how to ollie on vert like this. So you snap the tail and then you slide your front foot simultaneously to bring the tail up. That's an ollie. Ollieing on vert is a totally different technique. You're lifting up from a vertical plane, so you're using friction way more, and you're actually like floating and putting pressure on your board a lot more to keep it in the air, because you're considerably higher than you are on the flat. It says, why can't you skateboard when you're 40? Well, I'm 49. The end. Oh, okay, this is a good one. It says, dude, you're the best. You have inspired me to skateboard. Please, I have one question. What was your first skateboarding trick? The first thing I ever learned on a skateboard where I felt like I learned a trick was um, going up a curb. I learned how to rock my board up a curb and then put my foot closer to the nose and actually lift my back wheels up to clear the curb. And I think that's what sparked my interest in getting to the skate park and learning tricks. I still love doing it. Well, that was Skate Support with Wired, and this is Tony Hawk. Thanks for watching.